Darth Vader is probably one of the most iconic villain of all time, and specifically with the Star Wars series. Personally for me, designing him from the inside out has been a very enjoyable experience since it has given me the opportunity to take a deep dive into his character design and development. Once a heroic Jedi Knight, Darth Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force, became a Sith Lord, and led the Empire eradication of the Jedi Order. By refusing to allow Palpatine to destroy Luke at the end of the Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader's conflicting human motivation to save his son showed some signs of humanity left in him. But when you look at the bigger picture, his rise to power and care to the realm is a cautionary tale, a foundation to explore the lust for power of a deeply flawed but charismatic leader, and the danger of technological advancement and artificial intelligence. After almost five decades since his introduction, we still find him as enduring and fascinating as ever before. The helmet is the most important part of the suit. The most apparent purpose it serves is to help Vader breathe, but it's far more complex than that. The helmet is made of three parts, a protective neck gaiter, the primary mask, and the outer shell. Finally, the shell of the helmet that gives Vader his iconic silhouette secure all the pieces together, magnetically locking his vital equipment into place. Vader's damaged retina are aided by the helmet's lenses. They are calibrated to accommodate his damaged eyesight and enhance his field view. It also has the ability to detect infrared and ultraviolet wavelength while also serving as sunglasses to block out excessive light. As we remove the outer shell, we can see the body heat regulator and the heat air pump to cool his head. In addition to these more obvious features, the mask also pump air and help regulate Vader's body temperature. At the back of the heads are the cooling units and the power distributor. Designed to be intimidating and to strike fear into the opponent, Darth Vader's helmet is a combination of both Sith's tradition and technology, custom fitted to Darth Vader's head and designed to be removed as needed to show his face. The gator helps support Vader's neck, has a nutrient feeding tube, and this is also where his iconic and booming voice is processed and projected. There are also audio sensory that are built into the mask interior, allowing for the extension of Vader's hearing range, as well as allowing him to communicate through the voice synthesizer. After suffering many injuries following his duel with his former master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the fallen Jedi, Anakin Skywalker, was rescued by the newly instated Emperor. His armor is made of dual steel, an incredible strong and versatile metal alloy that can withstand heat, frigid cold, and physical stress. To keep him alive, he requires an advanced life support system. This life support system was integrated into his armor and is extremely sophisticated and robust. Vader's well two small system function boxes and an electromagnetic belt. His left function box regulates his temperature, while his right function box regulates his respiratory sensor, allowing him to operate in many hostile environments without any additional protection. Vader's iconic lightsaber is equipped with dual phase function and is powered by a kyber crystal, which allows the blades to be extended or retracted and is adaptable for either close quarter or long range combat. Vader's black all-terrain combat boot contains sheen armor of dual steel that hinges on the side of the foot. His boot is also connected to his artificial limbs. Vader's cape is made of armor weave, providing environmental damage and is extensively lightweight. The cape acts as both protective cloak and help minimize dust and contaminant from entering the suit's filter. Without medical treatment, cybernetic implants, and a life support system, Anakin Skywalker would have died, but he was transformed into a mechanized Darth Vader with the help of Palpatine. Various modules interface with damaged nerve endings were added with embedded circuitry that constantly monitor his respiratory and neural activity. This prevents his cells and muscles from degeneration. The ventilator provides mechanical ventilation by moving breathable air into and out of his lungs. In addition, a recycler for liquid and solid waste is located near his belt. 
The heartbeat generator is a device that senses when his heart is beating irregularly or too slowly. It sends a signal to his heart and makes his heart beat at the correct pace through electrical current. Right below the heartbeat generator is the supplemental nutrient storage that provides essential daily protein, vitamins, and minerals. The diagnostic cards are inserted into three corresponding slots to obtain data on Vader's overall health. As we remove the life system computer, we can see a chest plate port which is used to connect various cybernetic implants. Operation of these limbs was handled by hydraulic fluid and required regular fluid placement as well as piston realignment. The servo motors were modeled after his human form, allowing for complete movement and rotation in the joint such as his wrist, ankle, and fingertips. His cybernetic prosthetic limbs were added when he lost both his legs during his confrontation with Obi-Wan Kenobi and are made with dual steel alloy. When put into use, his mechanical leg will allow him to leap considerable distance. His height is about 2.02 meters or 6 feet 8 inches and he weighs about 120 kilograms or 300 pounds. To escape the almost oppressive nature, Vader has several meditation chambers built where he can remove his mask and suit and still survive. Vader longed to be less dependent on his armor and tried at times to function without it, but he labored in vain. Even after almost 40 years since the return of the Jedi, this charismatic leader of the Imperial Force is more relevant now due to our dependence on technological advancement and artificial intelligence. But I think one of the most fascinating aspects of Vader and why he holds up so well for so long is due to his many flaws and conflicting human motivation. Vader lives in two worlds, one that is driven by human desire and aspiration, and the other is cold and calculating, much like a machine that doesn't have any remorse or regrets. In many ways, he could, in theory, represent a possible feature of the human race, while many machines are intertwined seamlessly. With the advent of neural link, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, are we too heading in the same direction as Vader? What are your thoughts and opinion? And leave your comments below. If you'd like to learn more about Star Wars in general, or just like to watch technical 3D animation, check out this playlist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.